These birds are, are 10 days old today. They were taken here last week, Friday. They started with 432 Cobb 500 broilers. And the experiment is looking at heat stress effects and supplementation of probiotics versus no supplementation and seeing how those effects can you know, influence metabolic parameters and cortisol parameters in birds and hopefully that those probiotics can alleviate some of the stress effects that heat stress causes. The industry is responding to what the consumers perceive as something that is better. They want to pay for something that, um, in this case, meat that has been uh, produced with uh, antibiotics. It has been brewing in the, in the customers for many years, and now we come to a place where a lot of other countries have decided that they will grow their meat without antibiotics. And it's possible, it's just that you need to have a good uh, set of tools that you can use and, and do the job that antibiotics were doing. So with that causes challenges and new opportunities because probiotics could be a possible supplementation and opportunity to use instead of the antibiotics. However, you know, there's a lot of challenges feeding the correct probiotics. Um, they all have different strains of bacteria. So probiotics are direct fed microbial um, live bacteria source. So what that does when the animal ingests that is it causes a positive effect in the animal's gut or the colon. Good bacteria in the animal should be able to flourish more rapidly and cause a positive effect. It could cause um, villa, the little finger-like projections in the small intestine to grow longer and increase in height, um, which allows the animal to more readily absorb nutrients in the gut and that can help its growth and performance ultimately, hopefully make it more healthy. So the probiotics might be a supplement source instead of using antibiotics in the future. The results show something very important that they were confirming what we have seen before, that in the very beginning of the life of the broilers are very useful. Uh, and also they are, for the first time we have shown that under heat stress, probiotics help um, the bird to perform better. So, uh, in a nutshell, probiotics help during the, the equivalent to the very first two stages of growth. So, if you were to imagine, it will be the equivalent to the infancy and the adolescent life of human beings. It's when you need a lot more protection than when you're mature. When we're mature, we, we have our immune system a little bit more developed, but when you're an infant or, or adolescent, there are still a lot of changes occurring. Probiotics is just a fascinating field. I think it, it, we're just beginning to understand how important they are in giving us protection and helping to acquire a lot more things that before we were just thinking medicine can provide, but I think overall it will be, in, in the future, will be a a combination of what is good for you, what a specific state of, of health animal farms or, or humans will be, and what will be the most appropriate probiotics that will help to alleviate that state.